Hamlet. Now, the Fiemes, the Fiemes, the Fiemes, the Fiemes. This is another painting that is made for the iPad. Still life. I was inspired when I saw some citrus fruits being painted. I thought, I can do that. Because how did the Dutch do it? Well, they used the camera, camera obscura. They would compose the picture. They would use camera obscura and paint the picture upside down. How did I do it? Well, I used an app and I used an iPad. Now the iPad takes the photograph, that's what an, app, an iPad does very well. Then transposing that photograph to an app called Brushes. You then paint, the draw the picture in a yellow on one of the layers. Then you eliminate the photograph and on the app you're left with a, a yellow drawing of the still life. Now looking at the scene which I've set in my living room, I then paint that still life. It works, I think. I first saw Tom's iPad painting citrus at the initial meet of artists and poets that was held at the Feathers in Ludlow. It just so happened to coincide with one of my regular fasting days and I was starving and this fruit looked good enough to eat. But I didn't want to do a poem about some tangerines in a fruit bowl, my head just doesn't work like that. I decided to explore the term still life and what that meant. I envisaged a inverse Dorian Grey where the fruit in the painting stays succulent and fresh forever whilst the real stuff in the bowl rots and disintegrates. But even as it rots, it's still full of life. As the fruit decays, there's bacterial blooms, fungal spores, and all that green stuff that just coats the surface as it dies, that is still life. Still life of DNA. It may have only one strand, but it's still life. It may infect your bloodstream with its insidious bite, but it's still life. It may just be a fungus running miles underground, but it's still life. It could bite the head off your whippet, then turn on you, but it's still life. It may only be citrus painted on an apple, but it's still life. <laughs>